Is your website traffic going up and down and up and down? If you get a significant amount of traffic through Google organic search, it might not be something that you did. Here's what I mean. Google releases thousands of changes to their search algorithm every single year. And if you've recently seen a sudden increase or decrease in traffic, it might not be because you broke something. It might be because they've released an update that impacted your niche or your website. Well, as an online marketing coach, I've been in your shoes and I know how exciting and frustrating it can be if you've seen a significant change in your traffic. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three places that you should check to see if your traffic fluctuation is the result of a Google search update. If we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach, and the purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring one of those expensive agencies to do it for you. Well, hey, maybe you've been impacted by a Google search update, or maybe you just need better results from your website. Well, since you're watching this video, I have a free gift for you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart doc. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart, or I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you have a website and maybe you've been at this for a while and you get a significant amount of traffic from Google organic search, there's going to come a time where there's a sudden increase or sudden decrease in your traffic and you check some of the rankings for some of the top keywords that you've been ranking for in Google and they're up or they're down and you might be thinking to yourself, was it something that I did? Did I break something? Or maybe there was a Google algorithm update that shifted all the rankings in my space. And so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three sources, three places that you can check to see if there was a Google algorithm update to put your mind at ease. Okay, so the first source is the official Google search status dashboard. And you'll see the link here. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and I'll, I'll click through here. So this is the Google search status dashboard. And so what you'll see here is if there's been any just high level issues with Google, maybe they've been experiencing some indexing issues or technical issues on their end. But if you scroll down here, you'll actually see a ranking section where it will start to go through through some of the recent updates that they've launched to their search engine. Now, full disclosure, Google releases thousands, thousands of updates every single year. I think it was just a couple years ago, it was 5,000 or more. And so they will not input every single update or you know small updates in here. These are going to typically be some of the biggest ones that you can find here. And so for example, I'm in the ranking section, I see this November 2023 reviews update. If you wanna learn more about that, you can simply click through and then you'll get a little bit more detailed information about the update that you clicked on. All right, so this is the first one. This is the Google search status dashboard, and this can be a trusted source for you. The, the con with this one is they will not release every single update or they will not provide information on every update that happens, but they will provide updates on some of the biggest ones. So the next place that you should check is actually on X or Twitter or whatever we're calling it these days, and that's the official Google search liaison Twitter account. And so the Twitter handle is search liaison, and so now we are on the Google Search Liaison X page. This page is owned by Danny Sullivan. Uh, he is a team member at Google. And ironically enough, he used to be an influencer just in the SEO space uh, with his work through searchengineland.com. Um, but the difference between this and the search status dashboard is they will typically tweet out you know, the information that was featured in the Google Search Status Dashboard. But in some instances, there will be conversations out there by people in the SEO community and Danny Sullivan might chime in and provide information um, on you know some of the questions and, and you know some of the smaller updates that was not featured on the search status dashboard. And so if it's tweeted out by the Google search liaison, it's information that you can trust because it is an official Google source. Danny Sullivan is a Google team member, but I would say in this page, you'll get a little bit more information on some of those smaller updates compared to the search status dashboard. 
And so the third place that I'd recommend checking, especially if you've seen some swings inside of your Google Analytics page, maybe your traffic's gone up or maybe your traffic's gone down in a short period of time, is to check search engine roundtable. And so it's seroundtable.com. And yet again, I'll leave a link in the description below. But now let's click through and take a look at searengineroundtable.com. And so this is Search Engine Roundtable. This is owned by Barry Schwartz. He has been in the SEO industry for a long time, and he's one of the hardest working people in the game. Um, he typically will crank out several articles every single day. And while this is not an official source, right? So Google does not own Search Engine Roundtable. Barry will have an article up and running very soon after the official updates are announced with some additional commentary. And another cool thing about this website is even if an update was not announced, Barry follows the different search volatility trackers out there. And so maybe there's a day where there's a lot of volatility in the search engines and Barry will typically release an article on it. And so you'll get information on some of these smaller updates and unconfirmed updates, but you'll be able to stay on top of what's happening out there in search. And so in summary, if you want to know if there was a Google update or a Google SEO algorithm update, the three places that I'd recommend you check, number one, check the Google search status dashboard. This is an official source and for some of the big updates out there, uh, they will certainly have some information on it. The next that I'd recommend is the Google search liaison Twitter or X page. Um, this is, is operated by Danny Sullivan. He's an official Google employee. And then so he'll tweet out information about some of the big updates and then he'll have some commentary with SEOs out there on some of these smaller ones and the un confirmed ones. And then the last place that I'd recommend checking is Search Engine Roundtable. Search Engine Roundtable is not an official source from Google, but they will typically have updates soon after the big updates were released, and they will also have commentary on some of the unconfirmed or unannounced updates. So those are the three places that I'd recommend checking if you feel like you may have been impacted by a Google algorithm update. And I hope this information was helpful for you. If you could do me a favor, could you like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm. Take care.